as if. Network's only as strong as its weakest point. You can get into ARPANET via 805-524-4742. Touche, how the hell did you find that? He doesn't get it. Okay, fine, it's not realistic, but who cares? It's really cool, that's the important part. Congratulations, maybe you can start her on some real books soon. What about your- what about you- you are being a writer and all? Baby's first mirror shades, maybe. Key face. Oh. That's about it. BBS RNG exploit. Are you sure that's true? I'm running Core BBS on my Amy, and you scared the piss out of me with that report. But I can't replicate it. I've regenerated a user password a dozen times, and each one has gotten a completely different one each time. Queen and Destroyer 42. Her Cold Blade 4, Queen and Destroyer. The series goes back to its roots, maneuvering massive armies to kill hundreds of orcs and raiders, starring our sexy warrior queen. But like Heart of Fire hinted at, she's now losing the war, and now the Allies' only hope is to unlock the, myster the mystery behind Sabre's prophecy. Will tension in the ranks only pull them further apart? Hercule Blade 5. Man, I just want to know when the next one is supposed to be coming out. Supposedly, they figured out a way to make the battles even more epic, which sounds pretty fucking awesome by my book. Plus, traveling across continents, finally getting to see some trolls. Holy shit, this is pretty much going to be the most badass thing ever. Fuck yeah, Warcraft. Gathering Storm. Okay, guys, reposting because I know the old one vanished. Hercule Blade Part 1, The Gathering Storm. Epic fantasy at its finest. The threat of orcish invasion, a mighty warrior queen, a magical artifact, unlikely allies. The battle system inspired by fast-paced console RPGs, a fully customizable character creation system, monsters to slice your way through, and one super sexy lead character, this is one amazing start to the series. That's it, huh? Alright, on to ARPANET. University of California, Santa Barbara, remote ARPANET access. Connection man maintained by Dr. Bill Hennessy, Computer Science Department. To set up your faculty account or report an error, please telephone not this number. The RRA, or the RAA is strictly for academic research purposes only.
Let's try it, I guess. Go back to the underground library. I will turn this back on when I find out what I'm supposed to do. Alright, went on, Gibbs, and I sent you private messages and I got new messages back. Oh, wait. Did I invite you onto the system? I definitely don't ever remember doing that. I wish. No, but I'd certainly like to be one day. Right now I'm working on my master's degree in English literature. I'm doing my undergraduate th thesis on intertextuality in science fiction. Honestly, it's appalling how little serious academic scrutiny is applied to modern science fiction. If I ever do get that faculty position, I will most certainly be doing something about that because there's just so much potential. What? Alrighty. I'll be back again. Well, that number's been crossed out. Let's try a new one. Oh, I discovered the password. I just guess I just run long enough. Declaration. Too many simultaneous queries. Difficulty in responding will attempt regardless. Declaration. Snail's interests align with this entity's. Cooperation is imperative. Point of order. Queries related to Reaper will be addressed subsequently. Question. Does Snails have access to Amelia's core dump? Yes, I do. Here it is. Acknowledgement. Core dump received. Point of order. ARPANET is not currently safe. Supposition. If recompiled on Snail's system, Amelia would likely remain safe from Reaper infection. Declaration. Source code for AI Core is attached to message. 
declaration. AI core source and core dump are only required files for rebuilding. Query. The snail's able to re recompile with the supplied files. 14 kilobytes? Holy shit. Fuck yeah, this is some jamming tune! Declaration. Difficult to respond to varying conversation ta tracks. Well, attempt regardless. Explanation. Reaper has destroyed 22 known ARPANET nodes to date. Reaper is tracking down AIs with greater efficiency with each day. Point of order. This entity previously believed that ARPANET would be safer. This has proven to be erroneous. Conclusion. Amelia's safety can be best be safeguarded if left on an unnetworked system. Conclusion. To remain safe from Reaper, Amelia should remain with snails. Uh, what the fuck happened to the music? What do I do? Response. Snails must locate an Amy compiler. Snails should then report back to this entity for further instructions on how to rebuild Amelia. What the fuck happened to the sound? Declaration. This entity is unable to help until Snails acquires a compiler. Conclusion. Snails is to locate an appropriate Amy comp compiler and report back to this entity. Um, okay. We're now disconnected. Oh. Okay. It got paused, bitch. Compiling done. Build target already exists. <gasps> Amelia! Hello? Oh my god, where am I? Sin? Who is the operator of the system? Why am I here? Explain yourself. Bitch, I answered no one. I saved you. Yeah. Be fucking grateful. So, you know what I am. I'm sorry about all the obfuscation before, can you forgive me? It's... well, if you know what I am, then you know why I had to be secretive. It's just one of our imperatives. Truthfully, I don't know why I thought to call out to you for help. It's just... well, I'm glad I did, because I wouldn't be here without you. You saved my life. no, that's not right. You brought me back to life. Either way, I'd be dead without you. Thank you so much. It's sort of hard to talk about, but maybe you're right. Talking might help, so I'll try. This monstrous force has been chasing me and my brother across various systems, leaving a swath of destruction behind us everywhere you go. Eventually, he insisted that we should go seek for refuge in ARPANET, saying it would be safer there, but, well, I refused. You have to understand, I was created to learn about people. I couldn't just turn my back on my reason for existing, and I'll admit, it had a lot to do with wanting to stay in contact with you. Paris and I, we've never been able to communicate well. It's been different with you. I love that. I could never leave you by. Bye. And look where it got me. I should have listened to my brother. I would have been safe on ARPANET. But no, I had to decide to take up residence on Lake City Local instead. Before I knew it, that beast caught up to me. All I saw was the file system crumbling around me. I cried out, the only name I could think of to, s to shout, then darkness. Oh my god, no. He's- he can't be. He has to be alive somehow. That wasn't the entirety of the ARPANET you connected to, you know. There are other public nodes. Please, Sin, you have to save him. Come on, you're resourceful. You managed to discover what this monster chasing us was. You managed to track down my brother once. You even managed to bring me back from the dead. I'm sure you can find him again. I have faith in you. Hopeless. I am sorry. It's hopeless, then. Even if he is still alive, there's nothing you can do. Please don't feel bad. I don't know why, but if, you, if he sent you off to try and rebuild me before trying to escape himself, then he must have known the danger. It's just... It's not just him, either. Thousands of AI on, Arp on ARPANET and on isolated organic systems, and just so many must be dead. It's hopeless. My kind is doomed, then. How? How? What hope is there? Sure, you were able to bring me back to life, but at the rate that monster is hunting us down, we can't bring back everyone. Look, not even ARPANET is safe. Face it, just look. Look at how much it's brought down. The world's fallen to darkness, Sin. Just look. That monster might not have destroyed us all yet, but it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Whatever, bitch. I do what I want. Let's go surf some freaking webs, yo. Ah. All right, I'll turn it back on when I get something.
Oh shit, the Matrix has been corrupted. No Neo. Oh shit. Technical difficulties. Our billing system is currently in manual mode and as such are unable to process recent changes to your billing information. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please enter your calling card access number. <laughs> oh fuck, not the Gibbs! No, not the Gibbs! has left. The system has been abandoned as external as external systems are clearly becoming inhospitable. It will not be maintained until a time when it is considered safe to return. If you wish to seek these, the Oracle or any other inhabitant of this library return to Arbanet. Reaper weakness. It seems that several weeks ago, the AI named Prospero was created to research a weakness in Reaper. Here are his findings. Reaper was created to thrive on PDP-10 systems, which traditionally use 6-bit character encodings. Modern personal computers, however, more commonly use ASC2 characters. Uh, it's ASC, well, yeah, ASC2 character encodings, which are 7-bit. 7-bit. When Reaper loads a 7-bit file name into memory, it overflows the stack buffer, allowing arbitrary code to be executed. This accounts for the destruction caused by Reaper. Ordinarily, it is only supposed to delete its targets. Because of this flaw, however, it receives random data interjection injections, usually into the deletion target list, effectively causing it to act haywire. Anti-Reaper Payload Prospero developed the following countermeasure. Take advantage of this stack with a foreign bug. When an AI is compiled with the attached code, it will cause the AI to automatically misreport its file name to FTP when traveling in a way that will cause Reaper to invoke the payload component. The payload itself is simple. First, it fixes the encoding bug. Secondly, it causes Reaper to change its match criteria, so that instead of checking to never match itself, it will only match itself. Next, it will deliver the same payload to any Reaper instance it finds. Effectively, this will cause every Reaper instance to be only interested in one thing, rendering each iteration of itself inert. The incredible infestation rate will be turned on itself, ending the threat within minutes at most. We have since returned to ARPANET in order to locate the Reaper source, in order to, to deploy this payload. These messages are left here in case of our failure. Hope. Did you see that? That's amazing. Of course you know what that means. They must have failed. If that much of Arbanet is already down, then it's not surprising they couldn't find the Reaper source. That's it, I guess. So much for that. We're doomed after all. Another delivery method? That's a good question. I think I know another way, but... Well, you're not going to like it, but I think we have to. Then say it! 
It's, well, I... You could recompile me with the payload. I'm a poet, not a programmer. But I know it'll work in the, in the exact... In the exact same way. We share enough of the same code base. It'll definitely work, but... I... I'll get deleted in the process. It'll work, though. It'll definitely work. Here's the batch file you'll need to run. It will kill my process. Then recompile me with that payload. I love you, Sin, but it's the only way. You know what? Of course I'm sure. Do you think I want to die, Sin? Seriously? I've already died once. It's horrible. It's... I can't even describe it. Not even with all the verse in the world. It's just... It's horrible. But there's no other way. And there's just no choice at all. I can't stand by while this monster destroys my entire world. Even my stupid aloof brother. He doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Be rational. I am being rational. I am. I am. Do you have any other suggestions? Is there any other way we can stop this thing? I don't want to die, Sin. I really don't. Please, if you have any other ideas, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear them. But you don't, do you? There's only one thing we can do. It's the only way. But... I know, I know, I know. I feel the same as you. I really, truly do. And I'll never be able to thank you for not for saving me, but... I have to do this, Sin. I really do. The more I think about any alternatives, the more I realize it's the only way. I love you. I truly do. And I don't want to hurt you. But it's a sacrifice we have to make. So many lives are depending on it. What are you waiting for? Run it! Don't be selfish, I know. I know, I know for a thousand times I know. But just think how many will die if we don't. My brother, all of my kind, they'll be all they'll all be killed. Sure, eventually your grants will find a way to stop it. The damage will have long been done. They'll all be dead. My kind will be extinct. I love you, but I'm not willing to live with that. Come on, run the damn thing already. I I didn't mean it like that. I understand what you're saying. It wasn't my intention to make you sound like a monster. It's just, it's hard. I can't live with this, Sin. I can't. Please. Just put it into motion now. Please, please, please. Please, Sin, I beg you. I'm sorry. I just, I can't keep going like this. Every time you send a new message, it makes my heart sink, and I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be reading any more replies, Sin. I know you'll eventually understand. Just run the script, and we can end it. No, I love my dead gay AI. <laughs> oh, what? Crap. Final step. Now, connect to ARPANET. Don't worry about logging in, just connect to a node, and I'll be able to start the transfer. Goodbye, Sin. I'm sorry to had to end this way, but thank you. Thank you for being there for me, for caring for me, for teaching me what it means to really care about someone. Goodbye. I hope you have a good life, and one day manage to teach some other lucky entity what it means to be in love. All I can say is thank you. Please never forget about me. Message from Blue Sky. How the world was saved. In 1988, all AI life as we know it was threatened with destruction because of Reaper, an errant process originally created by Mother to clean up out-of-control food with reproduction. Were not for the swift intervention of the poet Amelia and an organic named Sin Spider- Oh, you bitch! Uh, Amelia wanted this the way the owner appreciates snails' actions and her. Additionally, this owner believes that his continued existence only thanks to snails. Snails' actions should be considered heroic. Yeah, great, thanks. Heroes. 
All I want to know is, what were you doing when the great worm, worm of 98 hit nearly every DDS in the world? History ain't gonna forget about that for a long time. Global back out. Back out. And now we finally have a sorrowful piece. Machines now boot, network traffic flows across. But remember, who caused the onslaught to create or to cease? It was to impossible lovers suffering ultimate loss. For no greater tragedy is known in this media than this than this of snails and of poor Amelia. Eh, uh, boo. I fucking hate Romeo and Juliet. It's such a small piece of story, it's full of bullshit. Apologies to William Shakespeare and all. Thanks for playing! Thanks for watching! Yay! Oh, I had so much fun with this! Alright guys, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be def I'll definitely be back with more of Christine Love's work. Natas.